Hi, Mr. X, the glossary term relatively prime. Two integers whose greatest common factor is 1. So let's look at some examples. All right, 18 and 10, are they relatively prime? No, they both have 2 as a factor. So anytime you have two even numbers, they will not be relatively prime. No common factors other than 1. 18 and 10 are both even. They won't be relatively prime, so that's a no. 21 and 10, are they relatively prime? Yes. Factors of 21, 7 and 3, and 1 and 21. Factors of 10, 2 and 5, and 10, and 1. We don't worry about the 1. 1 is a factor of every integer, so kind of take 1 off the table. Do they have any common factors other than 1? No. They have no common factors, so they are relatively prime, indeed. 42 and 63, relatively prime? Oh, no. 7 goes into both of these. 42 is evenly divisible by 7. 63 is evenly divisible by 7. They are not relatively prime. 17 and 51, are they relatively prime? No, because 17 actually goes into 51. 17 times 3 is 51. So 51 and 17 both have the factor of 17. Relatively prime? Nope. 17 and 19, are they relatively prime? Oh my goodness, yes, because they're both prime in and of themselves. So if you have two prime numbers, they will definitely be relatively prime. Two prime numbers will always be relatively prime. How about these two guys, 64 and 105? Are they relatively prime? Yes, they are. The only factors of 64 can be broken down into multiples of 2, powers of 2. 2 to the 6th power is 64. And the factors of 105 will not include any 2s. So indeed, 64 and 105 are relatively prime. Learn the language of mathematics at mrxmath.com.